Good morning, guys. Hey, I just want to talk to you um, about the hour that we're living in right now. Um, this was early this morning in prayer, and I was going to do it at, like, really at, like, 12 or 1. So, but I was just tired, and so I did it this morning. Um, it's about him pouring out his spirit. But this is what he told me, and early morning prayer. He gave me specific scriptures too and I didn't even look them up. <laughs> he said why this is why there's such a blatant attack against God's people with this coronavirus mess. And I'm like okay well I'm kind of listening everybody wants to hear all about that stuff. Some don't, some do, bad, glad, whatever. But it's in our face. It was Mark, he said, Mark 1, 3 through 8. It talks about John the Baptist and being filled with the Holy Ghost and one greater than he who wasn't going to just baptize us with water, but with the Holy Ghost and fire. <laughs> and then he said, go to 1 Peter 1, 3 through, 3 through 8. And that talks about a lot about the same thing, but being set aside for this day, kept by the power of God. And then it was Matthew in 1, 3, talks about the lineage of Abraham and then Jesus. All kind of coincides, guys. He can't put new wine in old wineskins. He wants to pour out the Holy Ghost upon his people, upon this land. On this world he's calling his people to a higher standard went to his service Sunday um, and it was really good but one of the main but not main things but one of the pieces of it was if you learn it wrong you live it wrong so we can't especially if you're in the ministry you can't just be loose lipped spouting stuff out so what i'm saying is <laughs> what i've been saying all along who's your source it should be god jesus the holy ghost and his word <laughs> go to him what's he telling you what direction is he giving you it's in his word we have full authority guys because of his plan. His plan was Jesus to come boldly before the throne of grace and glory. You know, <clears throat> servants back when there was kings and stuff, you know, and, and, and man, a lot of people were have had it pretty rough. Barely making it. The vast majority of them. <clears throat> Peasants and just whatever, you know, there was just a lot of struggle. <clears throat> kings had palaces. And people think, oh, a servant. Man, the servants left good, guys. And some of them were friends with the king. They really, they were servants, but they fared sumptuously, honestly. Had a good place to stay, probably. All that stuff, you know. The, the good servants. <laughs> so there's a lot to this, but there's a lot to this obedience piece. But the obedience piece is the why. Why are you being a servant? That dude that said, oh, I'm glad I'm not like them. Is it for the show? For your glory? So you can tell people what, you know, how much you sacrificed? I said, obedience is better than sacrifice. No, it's not. <clears throat> it's because you love your father. You love Jesus. 
that we've got to get, you know, he says he sees the intent of our heart, you know, oh Lord, create me a clean heart. Man, it's time, guys, to search your heart. Us too, me too. Lay it before the Lord, okay? He's always wanting to direct us. I'm going to, there's a couple of things, but I'm going to interject this, but I've been doing some things and the Lord, I wanted to do it something a certain way. <clears throat> I kept telling people I was praying about it and it would have solved some problems, issues, whatever, that I needed to take care of <clears throat> in a pretty big way, pretty quick, but it was my way. God didn't want me to do it that way. I had to shelve it, lay it aside, actually trash it. The whole concept and ideas and everything. And let it go. And when I did, God opened the door. In a whole other area. I mean the same area, but in a whole other way that I least expected it. That it way, way, way better. Because of the freedom that's there. Because the other way it was going to be bondage and sin that I didn't think was sin. It was going to become a hook. There was just a lot of issues with it. It's like, man, God, how did I miss that? Because I am up all the time praying. I am seeking his face. I am laying it before him. I'm gonna tell tell on tell this testimony one day because it's a testimony. It's just not. I mean, it's just not time yet. I'm not ready. It's still the Lord's still working on it. But <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I've got really bad drainage today. Took some antihistamine and that seemed to help. So. Look this up, guys. The story about Precious coming home, a dog coming home. Because I was in prayer again and sitting in my chair. And two feet, three feet away from me at the front door and at a cross above it. Really nice iron cross that my wife put up there. It's just pretty. But that's what the Lord told me to do. We lost our dog and we hadn't seen her for three days at all and if you saw our neighbor there's plenty of place to hide yeah i live in a big city but you know there's it's not like woods but it, it kind of is i mean you know it's just overgrown with stuff and trees and it's just kind of crazy actually but lots of places for her to, you know we hadn't seen her in three days guys I looked all over the place but just read the story but and i was like lord it was six in the morning what do i do it said, get up, go to the front door, go out on the porch and call her home. Her name was Precious. And I did, and she, long story, just read it. Too long to tell, I don't want to tell it in this message. It's about, come on, Precious. But it's time to get up, guys. Open the door. And let him into your heart. Clean you up. He wants those dark, dirty places where you won't even go. He doesn't want your wealth and fame. He wants your guilt and shame. Because how is he going to set you free? We're so busy with all this sensationalism, the politicized world of it. The, man, it's become garbage, guys. Honestly, it's become a garbage pit. Facebook has. I've been backing off of it because it's like I've been sucked into this surreal world somebody posted this somebody posted that somebody you know it's like you get angry real quick it's a spirit guys that's another one of the messages wizards that peep and mutter and moan it's wizardry guys it's sorcery it's satanic it's feeding our mind what do they do what do they even call it a news feed they feed you what they want to feed you and jesus God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost want to feed you the manna from heaven. That's why I said, you know, that 5 a.m. prayer is so important. 
He want what what he's setting his people aside for without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. So some of the things we've got to lay aside. This was the one I'm gonna end with. He said we don't get to pick and choose what sin in our lives, others. <clears throat> We all have sin issues, guys, in different areas. Some, some's some pretty open and blatant. Some's pretty hidden, and some we don't even know about, honestly. Till God exposes it. That's why it's so important that at five a.m. You may not have to be exposed to the world. It's just God wants to see your heart. He wants His people to go before Him. Me too, guys. I've got things that. You know, like I said, that there was one thing that I wanted to do a certain way. Well, if I would have did it, it would have became sin. But I had a block there some for some reason. I was like, man, God, I'm still, it still hurts. Thinking, man, how did I miss that? So that's why I said I'm not ready to... Tell the testimony, because it's a big testimony on it, honestly, of the goodness and grace and mercy of God and just his truth and just, just there's just a lot of good stuff in there. And that's what he wants to do for his people. Time to clean up our act, guys, so the Holy Ghost can live in us, so he can pour out his spirit, because he's not pouring it out in broken, dirty vessels. He wants to repair the breach between mankind and the sin that we've let in that we've lived in and the cesspool of this world that we've just that's why it says lay aside every the cares of this life <clears throat> i'm not saying you know don't go get your oil change don't take care of your house not your house no you, you know pay your rent on not go to work out all that stuff i'm not saying that that's not what i'm saying <clears throat> but when we get steeped in the politicized lies, pick one. CNN says Fox is twisting it, Fox is CNN is twisting it, okay? We can go into all the depths and details and <clears throat> spend all our time doing that. That's what the enemy wants, guys. What God wants is us to get up at five in the morning and be with him. I'm telling you that that's very important. And I, not, uh, you know, it's a timing thing. It has nothing to do with me, guys. It has everything to do with him. Start your day. Meet you there tomorrow. He's calling his people to a higher calling because he wants to fill us with the Holy Ghost and power from on high. Love you guys. Uh, talk to you soon.